There's something so healing about springs in a desert climate. It's like two totally different sides of nature flowing together, just like the yin and yang of life, which we will fully experience in today's adventure. Welcome. I've made a few videos about hot springs in the West. They're one of my favorite things, not just hot springs, but springs in general. And there's one that I've been wanting to go to for the past couple of years. I wanted to really go last time around, but I just couldn't justify it. But I'm gonna do it this time. Sometimes whenever you're alone, you need to make up ways to take yourself out, to treat yourself nice, um, do things for yourself because, well, no one else is going to. As in the last video I said, um, I've been feeling a wee bit burnt out. My solution to this was, the sun is beautiful, but it's really in my eyes. To stop filming for a second, for YouTube specifically, I have been still traveling around and doing things. Within the next couple months, I wanna have a span of time where I just take a break from all social media, like a detox. I don't know when I'm gonna do it yet. I don't wanna do it right now because I have so much to share with you guys. I think around my birthday time next month, because I don't really know who I am without being on social media on YouTube. I've been doing this my whole adult life, consistently, my whole adult life. Um, there's been very few times where I've not been posting and doing creative stuff, and, but that's later down the line. My temporary solution right now was to just take a few days off of filming for YouTube and stuff and kind of just chill out. I've been going on beautiful hikes. I was in Bryce Canyon. I still took some, some shots on my phone. I hope you Enjoy this little montage of my last few days here on Utah. not having to worry about filming and shots and also it's made the uh, experience more enjoyable to just go on hikes and to chill for a second because my mood has been you know how it goes so it's been refreshing to do that but I definitely wanted to make a video about some more springs that I find especially the new ones because I'll have more relaxed time to do so before we get into the springs I'm going to be staying in like this tent glamping place I want to show that to you as well and I also want to find maybe a lake or springs that aren't hot springs because we're getting into summertime and sometimes hot springs are a little too hot for summertime it'll be the perfect weather for the hot springs this time around because it's not too hot yet before all of that I'm finally going to get to go to a store. I have been out in the canyon lands around all these canyons, but the thing with that is that there are no big cities. There are no cities. There's no, there's just small, small, small towns. Like most of them are like one gas station, two gas station types of towns. Um, so everything's really expensive. It's hard to find food. It's hard to find anything. I haven't been to like a Walmart, for example, in a very long time. And it's a lot more affordable to shop at Walmart, unfortunately, than these small town stores. I do enjoy the small, town touristy vibe places but they're expensive and it has been very difficult i bought like some water a package of soup chips a chocolate bar and maybe one other thing and it came out to like 21 dollars of this last store i stopped at so i'm going to stock up some on walmart i'm making a grocery list because this is going to be the only walmart that i'm going to have for another long period of time because my plan is to go across again and go over to moab so i'm still going to be in basically no city type of area let's begin this adventure i'm not going to show you me going to walmart we're going to get to the glamping tent we are here let's have a little look see i haven't gone in yet you guys can go with me for the first time that is the bathrooms How cute. 
This is really nice and relaxing and I like this. <laughs> I got refrigerated stuff. That's all right. I had to go to Walmart and the vibes, oh, the vibes, not it. Now I've been in this location last year around this time actually. So tomorrow we're gonna go to the fancy hot springs and then we'll have a little stop in at the free ones, which I really like as well. So tomorrow will be hot spring day. Yeah, whenever you're out in nature a lot and then you go into like a town or a Walmart or whatever, it just doesn't feel fun. Like I just get tired from it now. Also, I wanted to say something. I got a lot of encouragement and I continue to get a lot of encouragement from you guys. And I just want to express how grateful I am for that, for the support and the encouragement to continue to make videos. It's hard to do everything and sometimes it just feels discouraging but with you guys' support and love I just feel so encouraged to continue to make videos so thank you for that I need a lot of reassurance look at this to do with a little microwave I got this hoodie from Bryce Canyon. It was on sale for $10 because it's from Solar Eclipse 2023, but it's chilly there, so I needed a hoodie. But I'm just gonna use it to cover my hair up until I can shower after this. I wanted to do it in a little experiment of a low calorie but satiating meal. My idea here is to kind of make like an egg salad wrap, but lower calories and healthier. To do this, I'm going to try and make my hard boiled eggs a different way. I got these, I like to get these zero carb tortillas and now they're probably mostly chemicals, but I like to keep in shape and I like to keep lean while also eating volume amounts of food. I also got some Greek yogurt, 0% milk fat, just plain ranch powder, honey mustard. If you're craving cheesecake real bad and you don't want to expend the calories, like it's a, it's a little bit healthier than cheesecake even and much lower calorie. Aside from the jello cheesecake mix, you put this in your Greek nonfat yogurt and you add whatever types of fruits. You can add honey or um, you know whatever sweetener, berries into it. We'll do that later. I don't know how this is gonna turn out because I've never made it. So I'm going to take, maybe use one egg yolk and the rest of them egg whites and smash them, put in that and that and that. I would say add some salt and pepper to this. Let's do a taste test. It's a great substitute if you like egg salad. It's not as crazy flavorful and as fattening, but whenever you're trying to have lower calories and eat healthier, sometimes it's not. But this, to me, tastes good. It's better than just eating boiled eggs. Last night, it was hard to sleep half of the night because of the wind. I thought the whole tent was gonna blow down. <laughs> it was so loud, but in the morning, everything calmed down and it was lovely. This place is great. Okay, I am ready. Oh, it's such a glorious day. It's perfect because it's quite chilly. So that means that the hot spring's gonna feel real nice. Um, but it's not too cold to where the sun's not going to be out. And there is a random goat. <sighs> All right, let's go find the Mystic Hot Springs first. This place is actually so interesting. There's like animals everywhere making noises. It's very soothing, as you can hear. So we're going to try out these hot springs. Not too many people here. And the water is perfectly warm. Perfectly. Perfect. Perfect. Going for 
first one. This is so nice, and there's like nobody here. <laughs> Story. Thanks for the date. Yeah, no problem. Be sure to know how to treat a girl. This place also offers camping, and they have like so many cool different little conversions like school buses and cabins and wagons. Lovely, lovely. I can't believe I got the whole place to myself. No peacock. immediately right when I got here there's no one here and then the lot just completely filled up I'm so glad that I went to the other one because yeah these types of hot springs are just not fun with random strangers as you can see it is quite full now parking lot full so we are going to move along now got my whole thing of blueberries so I'm just gonna swallow all of these those hot springs the first one's amazing second one's not because of all of the people it was just so many people um, that came in at once and yeah I definitely think it's really worth paying the money for the first one because there, I don't know if there's always less people but it does weed out people the vibes just felt so much better that that second one even when I went to it last year it's just the type of vibes I don't know people there's so many people that going in and out that the vibes are weird anyhow uh, I stopped at a natural food store and they had a bunch of sale items so I got a bunch of stuff that I needed on sale and I made my own trail mix, which I need more, I think some almonds or something to put in because it's mostly raisins. Now I'm making my way to Moab and I want to find a spring there or somewhere to swim there. Not a hot spring because I don't need hot springs in the summertime. So we're gonna go over there and try to find some springs. Moab is absolutely gorgeous, but it is incredibly expensive. So I can only do dirtbag life out there. I can only camp out of my vehicle out there. Week, and maybe I'll do this every month. I don't know, is lady time of the month, like my very hormonal time. And I think during this time, I'm most prone to burnouts and anxiety and things like that. And I don't wanna put that into my videos. So today I'm feeling good. The last couple of days, I kind of just burrowed. <laughs> And we are at another water source. So this is not a hot spring. This is a river. I'm gonna take a dip because I really need one. Um, this area that I'm in, it's north of Moab. And this whole drive here, there's been no affordable accommodation options. So I have been living in the dirt. So I definitely need some, a water bath. I got a new towel. This one is not very thick and this one's 100% cotton and thick and I don't think it was very expensive. It couldn't have been more than like $2. So we have a nice second towel. I only um, buy my clothes these days at thrift stores just because I'm in so many small towns that, and I don't, you know, I can't order online or anything like that. So that's why. I would not say that it's the easiest to get down into here, but that's okay because that just means that we have it all to ourselves completely. Like if the harder things are to get to, I'm grateful. Waterfront property, waterfront real estate these days is expansive. This is free. I actually like the mud, it feels good. <laughs> this gets deep pretty fast. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> That was very refreshing and cold and it's very windy today, so that's good too. We're just getting all aired out. And I also need to clean out my Jeep because it's very crummy and it's been needing cleaning. I don't like this swimsuit. <laughs> I'll probably redonate it soon. <laughs> this Jeep has gotten so dirty, but that's, you know, you gotta expect that. It's uh, very, very well driven, very well lived in. So I am a crummy girl. It is a known fact, going around making my own trail mix. This one today is raisins, apricots, and raw almonds. My water container definitely needs cleaned again, and I got bleach this time because I don't think it worked very well last time. It's gonna be so nice to be crumb free. <laughs> 
paper. Okay, so we have it all cleaned and decrumbed. Now I just need to do the counters. One thing I do believe makes things a bit cleaner, I'll just do my dishes too, is smoke. And I know that sounds weird, but I, I believe that um, it does. So sometimes burning a little incense, like when my back is open so I don't suffocate, I just feel like it gives it a nice whoosh. So we're just gonna let that do the final cleanse. I was too much sand. <laughs> wait time to get into the Canyonlands National Park. I'm definitely not doing that because I'd run out of gas. Ah, oh, I was wondering why my GPS is saying it's gonna take so long. <sighs> this is why you don't do anything on a Saturday. This is, Moab is just like a Sedona to where you gotta get there early. And unfortunately, I drove down here and didn't plan right once again, so. And then yesterday I moved in my camping spot, the one that I showed you guys, and uh, someone else took it immediately. I was trying to get a little signal, so I had to drive into town and basically sleep behind a pilot station. And then I was going to go to the geysers, but then I decided, no, I'll go to Moab. Do a little hikey hike. Not here, we're turning around. Sorry, this is, this is the content that um, nobody wants, especially not me. And there's still people lining up. Like, I picked this one because it was out of Moab and people said, you know, it's not too busy. <sighs> it has been a day, that's for sure. I'm exhausted today. I'm I was supposed to get a hotel for a night, and I, I've realized the importance of if you sleep in your car too much, you get really burnt out and your back starts hurting because you get squished in there. So I'm like, yes, I can get a hotel tonight. So I did. I didn't realize I booked the wrong date. So I tried to fix everything with the hotel and with the service that I got it with, and it took two hours of me just calling back and forth. And then just to end it with them canceling it, and I can't afford the new rate for tonight. So I wasted two hours and this whole day I've just been trying to find a hiking trail and you think that would be quite easy around here, but no, I'm not, I'm not trying to complain. I'm just venting because I don't have anybody else to talk to. And then I just needed to cry because I'm like, it's an emotional pass. It will pass. I was looking forward to getting a shower and having a hotel so much. And the problem with the area that I'm in is there's, it's too late to find a campground that will be have an opening and there's no free campsites around this area because it's Moab and everything has to be paid for. So I'm just in my feelings. I just try to stay patient and just kind the whole time because it's nobody's fault. I mean, at the end, it's, I guess it's my fault. That's my vent for the video. There's no point in feeling sorry for myself because I have to go find somewhere to sleep. So this wasn't the end that I wanted to have for this video, but I think this video has gotten long enough to where I'm still gonna go to the waterfall hike and maybe I'll overlay that footage on me just talking. I don't like to be a baby or complain about things, I really don't, but there's just a lot of things that are overwhelming at times and I'm uncomfortable a lot. And I've been reading this book of books that say whenever you have emotions, you do need to have them, let yourself have them. Not for extended periods of time, but for the moment whenever you can. So if I wanna have a little cry after I'm completely overwhelmed and just need to let it out instead of being mean to anyone or instead of holding it in, just let it happen. And I wanna encourage you guys to do that too because I know a lot of us hold in our emotions and I always thought crying was a weakness and being sad was a weakness, but that was the problem. I was just always angry and I wanna be more in tune with my feelings and myself. So that's what I wanted to encourage you guys about. No, it's not the end of the world. No, life isn't terrible. I found a camp spot. It's not a good camp spot. It's very hot and there's a ton of other people. I went to the very last spot that I could, but I'm still basically in a parking lot with a bunch of other people, but it's free and I'm just gonna have to do it. And I adjust 
faster these days, which has been a big struggle with me being neurodivergent. And this whole lifestyle, this whole experiment also is just like changing me for the better in ways that I can adapt faster, you know, problem solve faster. And that's what this lifestyle requires of you every single day. You're allowed to still have feelings because there's going to be high highs and there's going to be low lows and just to get a breath the wave, babe. But yeah, I'm, I was super disappointed that I couldn't get a hotel. One more night is not gonna kill me. If you are like me and not doing it in a pre-planned family vacation type of way, these places are going to be hell. It's not a spontaneous fun little thing. You have to plan these things and I'm just not like that during high peak season. Anyway, it's never the end of the world and I have to tell myself that. And this video was about the hot springs. You know, I always add a little twist of, as I say in every video, this is not a highlight reel. But there are definitely highlight moments and they're, they're all good. Even the bad moments are good. It is still a little embarrassing. <laughs> but I hope you stay extraterrestrial and I hope you enjoyed this video of the pretty places that we've got to see. And I don't know what's next, honestly. Goodbye.